The Gates Foundation picked education as the primary thing we give to in the United States. Melinda and I both had great educations, and we feel that was critical to allowing us to have the incredible opportunities that we had. So we were pretty shocked when we learned only 25% of all high school students meet the benchmarks to be college ready. And it's much worse if you look at the minority groups. And so that was kind of a, a tough level set to say, boy, this situation's not very good. You know, then you look at the U.S., how does it compare to other countries? The U.S. in the 1960s and 70s was the best in the world. Well, we've moved down as others have improved. You see that of 100 kids in an urban school system, Chicago in this case, there's only six that end up with a four-year degree. And yet the economy needs college graduates more and more. The income gap, the unemployment gap is bigger and bigger, uh, favoring college graduates. And so then the question is, what can you do about it? We decided that we could come in with better approaches, fund some research, fund ideas about technology and personnel systems and make a difference. And so one of the things that we saw is that all 50 states had different curriculum. And so we've been part of a movement to offer a very strong, excellent curriculum. And what that means is you'll be able to share the textbook, share the online material, and that everybody will be getting smarter about what works, what material can help teach. Another big move is to let the teachers know how they can be better. Now, evaluating the teacher and giving them feedback, you can use the principal, you can use other teachers, you can use test scores, and you can use surveys. And our work shows that if you use all of those in the appropriate way, you get the best measures and the best feedback. One movement that started in the late 90s are what are called charter schools. These are public schools, but they're not subject to the normal constraints. They show you can educate inner city students without extra money, without being selective, and a lot of them are really fantastic. Last but not least is the idea of using technology. This is an area where there's a lot of excitement right now because the innovative work using the internet, videos on the internet, interactive quiz on the internet, personalizing the information, a lot of it free, some of it paid for information. The class that will graduate in 2025 is the class that's entering school right now and you know they deserve to have great teaching so there are some ways that that can happen if we really push forward and we're willing to make changes.